Hello cave dwellers, welcome back to the Retro Man Cave. Uh, we've got a game on video and it's a game of Durell Software's Combat Links uh, on the Commodore 64. And this game is from the year 1984. You probably can't see that, there's too much light bouncing off of it. Anyway, we covered this game a little bit in the um, Goods In video when we received a box of Commodore 64 flight sims and flight related games. Uh, this was my pick from that video simply because for a start there's no screenshots on the back which uh, as I said in that video is usually a pretty bad sign uh, and I know nothing about it. I would played some of the other games I've never played this one. Never played a flight sim or combat game from Durell Software so let's get it loaded up and let's see how it plays. Okay, we've got our Commodore 64. Uh, it's just the standard machine. Uh, this, yeah, this doesn't support the 128. So Commodore 64, I've had a read of the manual and mm, yeah, it's not straightforward. Um, it looks like to get the most out of this, you actually need two joysticks. So I think it's gonna be a tricky one. The standard controls are <laughs> three fingers on each hand, ZXC, less than, greater than, question mark, and that's for Slower, faster, left, down, up, right. And that's even before you get onto the weapon system. So um, I haven't really got two joysticks that I can use to play this, but let's give it a go. So um, what are we going to have to load? Load combat. Press play on tape. There we go. And I think that's actually put it into warp mode on the emulator, so that should um, load pretty quickly because I'm sure you don't want to sit and watch a game load for 10 minutes. Um, so from what I can gather, you've got four bases that you need to support. Base one, it says, base one has an endless supply of fuel and weapons and the ability to instantly revitalize injured trooped there's a spelling mistake there trooped bought uh, troops brought back from the other bases 30 soldiers in each base so it looks like you've got to protect your bases um, against tanks field guns trucks missile launchers all sorts of things going on here one to four skill levels okay This is taking its sweet time to load. There we go. Warning if your cassette is not blue with Durell embossed on it, and Durell is not written on the leader strip, then you have a forgery. Here's our tape. It's not fake, officer. Please don't arrest us. Oh, wow, here we go. This looks like uh, something straight out of the Airwolf intro screen. Uh, please select skill level 1 to 4. 4 is the hardest word. It's, it's got to be 1. Press return for standard weapon load or F7 to select your own requirements. I'm going for standard. Oh, but straight in. Okay. And I'm still on warp mode. Okay, let's slow that down. There we go. So... Uh, it says your helicopter is seen from behind. The direction of view is either north, south, and as the helicopter swings round past either east or west, then the direction of the view will switch between north and south. To keep track of your flight path, watch the compass. Okay, well let's just try and take this thing off. So, up and down, X, and greater than. Oh Christ, I think the base has just been hit. Okay. We've got up, we've got down. It says the higher you go, the more likely you are to be shot. So we want to keep it low. Okay. Oh, we've got left and we've got left. And we've got right. Okay. It's, it's quite a unique view, actually. Oh, there we go. 
if we go all the, okay so if you go let's go back north so zero if we go to 90 degrees there you go the view switches you go to 180 does it switch again no so ah, the helicopter is effectively facing us at that point and then if we go to 260 270 yeah 270 <laughs> it would help if I knew how many degrees there were uh, there's a miss out and somehow I've avoided it I have no idea what's going on other than I'm spinning my helicopter round and round okay so we got up and down and we can rotate so I'm guessing slower and faster is actually forward and back so let's go north and let's go faster nothing seems to be changing oh yeah the landscape kind of moved there let's go let's go as fast as we can there we go look at that that's a really interesting point of view I mean for 1984 oh yeah that's a hill um, oh one life then right let's try that again no what I was saying is the the perspective is quite unique you've got these kind of gray um, relief lines that give you a sense of movement as you go forward and back and also height which I didn't quite get because I slammed into the side of a hill but there we go so I've got I've got my movement sorted. The question is, the missile. The question is, where am I going? Let's keep it low. Ish. Um, the intelligence map. Press F five. Okay. So it's then on the map. Capital T is a tank. H is a house. V is a vehicle, F is a field gun, L is your links, and E is an enemy base. So the L is, that's me in the middle. That great big F that I'm directly above is a field gun. Can we see that? Yeah, there it is. So how do I shoot that? If I want to take that out. dangerous thing in this game is the hills I think okay firing weapons there is a two or three stage process first you must select your weapon using the cursor keys left and right or up and down as you press these a small weapon select cursor will move right or left across the bottom of the six weapon status gauges at the bottom center of the normal flight screen these are as follows, R for rockets, G for gun pods, C for cannon, W for wire guided hot anti-tank, H for heat seeking sidewinder, M for mines, which are dropped. You can only fire one weapon system at a time, the active system is the one with the weapon select. Right, let's just try it. Okay, that's my base. Sorry, base, if I'm about to hit you, but let's try this out. Um, cursor keys. Oh, okay, yeah, you can see that arrow. M G C R W H. Let's go R for rockets. If I can select it. Okay, that's selected. And then it's space to fire. Oh, hello. Check this out. Oh. Okay, seems I've got a limited amount of time to do that. So let's try that again. Uh, shot a tree. Look at that. Nice. Right, nothing can stop us now. We've got the map. We're going to go for that field gun to the north northwest. Let's do this speed up hug the contours of the ground oh you don't know what's coming to you mister oh that's interesting on the left bar there you've got the 
you've got my height, but you've got the ground height that keeps going up and down. So that is useful. I've got to adjust with it as I'm moving. Okay, field gun's there. No, oh, I've just wasted a rocket. Okay, let's slow down. Let's not hit the floor. No, come back. There's one. No. How do I how do I abort shooting? I think I've just gotta wait. Yeah, there we go. Ah. <laughs> Okay, this is a lot harder than I was expecting. But I'm determined to shoot something, so let's at least do that. Right, easiest level, God knows what level four is like. Uh, let's just have a look at the weapon select screen. Use plus and minus to adjust the load. F7 for next item. Okay. Weapon, fuel. <laughs> Don't think I'd class fuel as a weapon, but okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we need some fuel. Not a lot, because I never get very far. Anti-tank mines, nah. Machine gun pod, oh, that sounds fun. Cannon, yes. Rockets, lots. Anti-tank, no, I haven't seen a tank yet. Sidewinder, yes, I like sidewinders. What's this, fully equipped. Personnel. I guess that's to allow me to carry people. No. That'll do. Okay, so rockets armed. No, take off. I think that's a. Whoa. Rockets from the off. I need to get low. I think that's a field gun up ahead that red coloured pixel so if we can just dive over this hill we might be able to take him out okay quick 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 there we got him yes no why didn't he die am I shooting my own gun <laughs> and I've slammed into a hill. So with my head in my hands, uh, I'm going to stop the gameplay footage there. Um, it's quite frustrating trying to play it with the, the six keys. I think uh, if you got used to it with two joysticks, I think it'd be quite a different game. Um, it's got a lot of potential. I really like the, uh, the pseudo 3D effect that it's created. Um, you know, for 1984, I think it was quite a unique way of presenting that kind of game and uh, I think given a lot more time you could really get into it feel like you're in control uh, with the movement with the weapon systems uh, and yeah I think it's a pretty good game so um, if you've got two joysticks find this game give it a go let me know how you get on if you've played it um, recently or even back in the day leave some comments let me know what you think about it and uh, I'll see you again in the cave for the next uh, video.